Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. You're watching I Allegedly. And uh, I've got a good one for you today. Out in the golf course. Up Tustin Ranch. Just wanted to get a quick video out for you guys today. Couple things. People have asked me about prepping, how to prep. But I also want to give you some news that's going to affect the rest of the week and how things are going to unfold. And um, before I get into it, please take a second. Please hit the like button. Uh, uh, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget the email list. The email just went out. More to come. I lost my voice, guys, from talking so much in the last couple of days, and I'll be fine. First things first. Prepping, guys. When you look at prepping, this is very easy to do. And the only thing about this that you have to prepare for is that it does take money to buy additional supplies, food, and things like that for your house. And it's all relative. If it's you and the cat, simple, okay? If you've got a big family, it's gonna be more difficult to do this. But you have to take this seriously right now because as these stories unfold this week and the stuff I've gotta talk about only leads to getting you more prepared for what's coming. And what's coming is that there's gonna be shortages at, at stores, there's gonna be problems. And um, needless to say, for yourself, make sure that you understand the difference between uh, short-term perishables, you know, if you buy meat and it's not fr uh, frozen, that's a short-term perishable. If you buy certain vegetables, short-term perishable. They, you know, you buy a dessert or something like that, they can go bad fairly quickly. There's that. Then there are things that are um, that are a little longer term, uh, basically two weeks to a month that you can keep in the house. And you've got to have plenty of those things. You've also got to have long-term perishables which can last six months to a year. And the thing to think about is when you buy anything right now, make sure you check dates, make sure that you buy things like pasta sauces and beans and things that can be put to the side for a while. If you have a pet, make sure you have pet food. That the cat, you know, so many people write me and say, my cat's on a special diet and it's difficult, it's expensive. Start looking for it now, guys, because the baby formula problem that they're not talking about is happening before our eyes and it's continuing right now okay so there's that <clears throat> make sure you have spices make sure you have plenty of water make sure you have you know baked goods uh things for baking powder uh things to make things if you have to cook on your own the more you have the better i've got a list below that i'm going to have in the video i won't bore you with everything but again pasta sauces canned goods, canned meats. If you do not have the capabilities of canning and prepping things yourself, that's not the end of the world, guys. You can buy things that will last years and years and years. I've had a lot of people write me and say, listen, canned goods may have an expiration date, but they will last a long time after this. And you can sit there and say, I'm never gonna eat a can of beans that the can has expired. Well, if things go south, if things go the way that some people anticipate they're gonna go, you'll be happy to get the can of beans right now. So. Plan for your medications. Talk to your doctor, because I did this me with, with my doctor, and I said, listen, I want a three-month supply. Your insurance company's never gonna approve it. How much is this stuff? Okay, guys, out of network, it cost me $97 to get a three-month supply. Who cares for that? Now, I know there's people that are gonna write me and say, I've got $3,000 prescriptions, and I've got complete shenanigans, and I cannot afford that. I get it, guys. It's not for everybody, but prepare. Prepare as if you had to be in your house for an extended period of time. Prepare if things are closing. We are seeing restaurants go out of business like we've never seen. Someone wrote me, Marianne wrote me about uh, Newport Beach saying it's not that bad, Newport Beach is doing good. It is and it's not, okay? The wealthy are doing fine, but things are not good in these areas when you have mounting uh, retail going out of business. And people, somebody wrote me this morning and said, listen Dan, the beaches are crowded. Everything's good. Beaches are free, guys. You've got to pay at the most to park. That's it. It's not like these people are at a resort. If it was a resort beach and it was packed, that would be a different conversation. And again, I can go to these resorts and you know they invite me, hey, come film here. Well, they want me to film there. No, 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 okay? But if you guys want me to do that, I'll be happy to show you empty resorts right now in the middle of summer. Curtis wrote me about his sister. His sister has worked at Credit Suisse for 24 years. 
and she just got laid off. In fact, they just laid off 6,500 people at Credit Suisse. Now, I want you to think about this. Curtis's sister, I don't know her name, but I feel very sorry for this woman because she got her job there in 1998. Okay, talking about a world change, talking about the dot-com bubble, the internet. You think about this, the fax machine was the best technology back then, and think of everything that's happened that she's had to learn during this time, but how does that woman get a job after 24 years someplace else? That's crazy, guys. You're going to see this more and more. But again, this wasn't on the main media. I had to have this sent to me from somebody, and it was out of a site through a Malaysian HR site. That's crazy, guys. So the references and everything I get, guys, is always referenced in the videos below. Now, people write me and tell me, hey, I don't have access to the video description. I don't have access to things like that. Okay, that being said, let me explain to you. Either, either I get an email from somebody like Curtis and then I share it, or I get the news story too. So I've got images from that and it's absolutely crazy, but also take a look at this. Right now, in August, every year is the Monterey Car Show in Monterey, California. My girlfriend and I were up in Monterey last year, the week before the event, and just stumbled upon the car show. Had no idea, people were like, you're here for the car show? No, but it had been closed for two years earlier because of the health crisis, and finally opened again. So, that being said, it was crazy. The, the, the car insanity, the wealth with automobiles, and the wealth that people have up there is unbelievable. There's a thing called a 17 mile drive that you can drive through with this audio, uh, thing talking about the houses and how much they are. These houses were $20 million. And then I got to go to Pebble Beach and walk around the golf course and uh, uh, walk around the 18th green, which was very cool, okay? And I haven't played golf in years, but it was also very nice as I walked through a golf course. Um, <clears throat> but what was interesting was the cheapest ticket to the Monterey Car Show this year. And so much so that he's not gonna go this year because of this is 400 bucks, $400 up to private access, which is $4,000 for a ticket to this event. Now you can sit there and say, wow, that's crazy. Um, there are rich people that will spend the four grand to go do that, but think about this. He's not going this year, okay? He's not going on the trip. So Terry's not going, done, okay? Not going on the trip. How many more people like Terry are not spending the money to go to the Monterey Car Show? I don't know don't know but this is the shape of things to come Newport Beach has nothing but problems with retail and you're seeing less people in restaurants and one thing that they're doing in the higher-end restaurants which makes zero sense is they're shortening the hours in the restaurants and I have family members in the restaurant business and I know people that, that the family's done it my brother's wife's done it for oh, almost 60 years and she knows everybody in Southern California, basically in Orange County, that's anybody in that business. And when I ask her questions about it, she her, you know, she knows what's going on, but people do shenanigans where they close a high-end restaurant at eight o'clock at night. Eight o'clock, guys. And again, they don't have the staff, people don't wanna work, uh, they don't have the food, they don't have the customers for that. So closing these places at eight o'clock. Now, again, this is the shape of things to come. This is how bad it's getting. You need to prep, you need to take this seriously. And again, we'll be back on our regular schedule tomorrow with videos, but I needed to cover this for you guys today because it's just, it's getting crazy. But Credit Suisse laying off 6,500 people and having it go off below the radar is nuts. It's absolutely nuts. These are not 6,500 baristas. These are major wage earners for an international bank that is folding, that is having serious trouble with the economy and with the marketplace to say the least, okay? Now, final thing is Clint sent me this and he goes to one of these auto washes where you put the change in and you wash your own car. We've all done that, it's very cool. Well, how about this? The thieves were so desperate that they broke the change machine and ripped them out of the containers to where now there's no change, okay? It won't take change. Uh, you have to use a credit card. Horrible, guys, absolutely horrible. So, please guys, just wanted to do a quick video today, walking on the golf course. My voice will be fine for tomorrow, I'm sure. But uh, share your thoughts on all this stuff, guys. This is, this is getting 
to the point that it's getting crazy. You're going to see things that I'm gonna talk about with the stores this week that if, if I didn't have pictures, they'd almost be unbelievable right now. But again, thieves that are taking out a change box. What is in a change box? Seriously, $20, $50? Let's say the guy, they scored $100. They did so much damage to this guy's business by ripping out these change boxes that they would, they would risk felonies, destruction of private property, all, all the stuff that they could do for, for that. So please reach out anytime, share your thoughts on all this stuff. Don't forget if you want more exclusive access, there's Patreon. The email list is below. You can sign up for that. We just had an email go out a couple days. If you're on that list, check your spam filter. And uh, onward and upward, guys. I will see you guys very soon. I appreciate each and every one of you. But most importantly, guys, I appreciate the emails and the content. And whether you're, whether you're happy with me or not, I'm a big boy, okay? I can take the criticism, and I have no problem with that. Please understand that, okay? And also, the spammers that are here. Report the spammers that are on my site and everybody else's. These people have figured out a bot way of commenting on people's YouTube channels that are irritating. And we report them, and then they get... Uh, uh, they get removed and then they come back with changing a few words and they come back. But you can do a difference too by reporting these people. I appreciate each and every one of you. Reach out for anything. The emails below. Onward and upward, guys. Don't forget the social media, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that shenanigans. Okay? I will see you guys very soon.